Hello everyone, Brian here. I'm going to show you real quick today how to finalize your scores in Power Teacher Pro for the end of the semester. So I'm in my demo class. I'm going to go into Power Teacher Pro to open up my gradebook. Now if you've been syncing scores from Canvas, you will see all of your assignments here. If you've been putting in them in manually, you'll see your assignments here. Power Teacher sorts assignments by due date. So grading period one is everything from the start of the semester through uh, December 19th. December 20th and 21st is reserved for the final exam. So I'm going to go into the top right, hit G1. I'm going to click on F1. There's nothing here because there are no assignments dated uh, the 20th or the 21st. Uh, if you're in Power Teacher, you can hit Create an Assignment. I'm going to call this Final Exam. Just mark it a category. It'll be points, and we'll say it's 100 points. And its due date is 12:20. If that was my exam date, I'm going to hit save and close. It doesn't matter what day you give the assignment on, uh, but it has to be marked as either the 20th or the 21st. Same in Canvas. If you're going to give it in Canvas, create your quiz, create your assignment, but it must be marked the due date of the 20th or the 21st, and when it syncs, it will come into this final one category. So that's important thing, number one. After score, after your um, all of your student scores are calculated and totaled, you need to uh, complete your grades. So we're going to go into grading and then comment verification. When you open the screen, you see scores listed for each category. You want to change to semester one. So this will grab all their scores, their grading period one and their final exam scores. Remember, you should have weighted these appropriately. We have another video on how to do that. I've linked it below. Um, but in high school, our scores are 85% grading period one, 15% uh, final exam one. So I'm going to go to G1, and it marks my G1 scores. This is only my classwork stuff. If I go to F1, there's not going to be anything scored because I haven't scored my final yet. Semester one is the combination. So please make sure you have weighted those correctly. Take a look at the other video if you haven't done that yet. To uh, add comments, click on the box, and a comment box pops up in the bottom right. You can also click on the comment bubble and type in uh, comments directly, or you can use the comment bank. And you can come in and hit the plus button, and it will add that, uh, that comment into the student's box. And then you just go to the next student, and I can move along through. So once you have all of your scores in and all of your comments done, you need to finalize your grades. Hit Save to save your comments and then hit the final grade status button. This brings up a pop-up and you need to check the box if it's not already checked saying that your semester one grades for this course are complete and then click on save and that will mark your class as complete. You do not need to print a grade verification sheet anymore or comment verification sheets anymore but you do need to print your grade book. You can go to reports, score sheet report, and then pick your fields so you'd select all of your classes, or you can do one at a time if you would like. You want to include student names, sort them however you would like, um, include your categories. Uh, your reporting term should be semester one, and your date range should also be semester one. And when you click on Run Report, and remember these are demo students, these are not actual students, you get a grade book with your assignments listed, all of your students and their semester one scores. I hope this is helpful. All of this is written out in the memo you received in your email as well. If you have questions, please contact either your building ambassador or you can put in a help request with instructional technology by filling out the form. Thanks.